Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to make a graphical scale when the distances you need to find out in miles and furlongs. Okay, let's check it out. The question is construct a graphical scale when the given RF is 1 is to 50,000 and here we have to read the distances in miles and furlongs. So we'll start the question like this. Obviously first write down your RF. This is our RF. And every time, please make sure every time you have to begin like this. This is left hand side, we know this is right hand side. So we'll write down a one. This is left hand side one. One unit represents 50,000 units. And now, since we have got uh, the portion like find out the distance in miles and furlongs, in case of miles and furlongs, we always use inches. If it is given here kilometer and uh, meter, that case we'll use centimeter but whenever it is given here for longs and mile we need to use inches okay you can write down inches inches also even you can use this symbol so one unit instead of one unit we'll write here now one inch represents fifty thousand inches see i have written both so it's your it's on you you won't write in the words or you can simply use this symbol now uh, we need to find out for 6 because this is rule. Whenever there is miles and furlongs, you need to find out for 6 inches. And it is kilometer meter, I have already told, we use 15 centimeters. So, if 1 inch is representing 50,000 units as it is given in question, so we need to find out uh, what should be the inches if uh, or what should be the length when we have 6 inches. So, what we will do? We need to multiply that. So, 50,000 into 6, we got three lakhs inches now this data you have to learn like since one mile is equal to 63,306 inches so what we have what we are going to do is because we have to show uh, in miles so this inch we are going to convert into inches so sorry miles so we'll uh, divide this three lakh by this because uh, one mile is equal to six three sixty three thousand three hundred sixty inches and after dividing we get this answer this hope everybody are aware the third digit will check if this is five or bigger than five then we add one at the front number and if it is less than five we'll remove as it is so i have removed as it is because third digit is four so our answer is 4.73 now the problem is you have a line of six inch six inch and miles are 4.73 so obviously it is a very 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 difficult uh, task to show 4.73 miles on a line of six inch so what we'll do is we have discussed in our previous video also if you have any doubt you can go through that you can watch that again it will be easy for you to understand this one so what we'll write is since 4.73 is not a round figure so what we are going to do is we are going to round it up and so we take five as a round number. Now, so firstly, uh, what we had decided, we got uh, by solution like for six inch line, we were going to draw for 4.73. But now since we are not showing 4.73, we are showing five miles. So we cannot draw the line of six inches. It won't be correct. So what we have to do is now we need to find out what should be the length of line to show five miles. So we'll uh, so write like this. Now 4.73 miles are represented by a line of six inches, which we are going to do before, but we have to find one. So what we'll do is so now we have to find for five. So first find out one mile will be represented by a line of six divided by obviously we'll divide by this. So we'll get the value for one mile. Now it would be easy for us to find out the data is about five miles. So here is what you should do is okay we'll just multiply this was done one mile will be represented by a six inch divided by 4.73 now five miles will be represented by a line of same data into five it's simple like if the cost of one chocolate is this much so what would be the cost of five chocolates we'll just multiply and we have got the answer 6.73 inch okay so since our answer was 6.34 we did say this number is less than 5 so we have removed this number and directly wrote the answer 
6.3 inch. Now the very first step, so this uh, we have got solution to make our uh, graphical scale. Now what we should do is, we have to draw a line of 6.3 inch. Let's start to make this diagram quickly. Okay, so I have made a line of 6.3 inch. This is my 6.3 inch. Please make sure scale don't get confused about centimeter and uh, inch. The opposite side of centimeter in your scale that is inches. Now this is my line of 6.3 inch. Now the problem is again, how would I show uh, 5 miles is 6.3 inch because we round it up then also we didn't get the answer. So it is quite difficult for that we have a solution. Take your protector, put your protector here at this end and make an angle of 45 degree. Hope you got, okay. Now in the same way, put protector downwards and make an angle of 45 degree here also. Now the task was uh, convert, like uh, you have to make five equal portions, five equal divisions. So we'll make fifth one is this only. Okay, like when you count here, one, two, three, four, and five. Fifth is already here. So we'll make only four points. So uh, take, uh, you can use scale or if you want, you can use compass also. Let's mark four uh, points at the difference of one, one inch. So I'm marking, this is my one inch. This is two inch. This is third equal. Please make sure it should be equal. And this is fourth. And on the same way, I'm going to do here also. Mine is not accurate because I'm doing freehand. Please use your scale to do this. So this is my one. This is two. This is three. Okay, it's quite near. This is two, third one, and fourth one. And give them names. Uh, like this is my, if it is my A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. Here you can give uh, like A dash or X, Y, Z, whatever you want. So I'm giving here a name as A dash, um, B dash, C dash, and D dash. So next step, what we should do is this, uh, we have done all. Now we'll join these lines. Now while joining, please make sure you need to join the first point with the last point, okay? So this is my A, A I'm going to join with D dash. Okay, done. So when you do with the scale, you'll get accurate. Okay. Like this. So this is the method to get uh, equal differences when uh, the numbers are not too good or it's difficult when you are getting difficulty in find out, finding out the equal distribution. So this is your one mile, this is two mile, this is three mile, fourth mile and fifth mile. So let's do the labeling. For labeling, I'm going to choose the next color so that it will be easy for me, even easy for you also to understand. This is will represent one mile, two miles, third, fourth. Sorry, I did I've done mistake here. Hope you remember the mistake is I need to write here zero because in this in this kind of scale we have to show primary and secondary scales. So we are going to show primary. This is zero, one two, three, and this is four, please write here, miles. Okay, it's done. Now, according to rule, what we should do, we have to extend this 0.5 centimeter. Uh, so please make sure increase both the sides 0.5 centimeter. If it is difficult, uh, like if you are not able to make with 0.5, you can take one, but it will look more good if you extend it 0.5 centimeter. Please, we can uh, check the maps also. The scales width is very, very small. Okay, so I'm extending it 0.5 centimeter. After that, it's always join these two ends. Okay, uh, let's join these two ends. And once you join this, again, we need to draw a line in between these two. Every time when you make graphical scale, please do as it is. Now extend the lines where you have got 
marks, these are the miles. Okay. Done. And this is the third mile. Now, next step is you have to show these are miles you have showed. Now you have to show the furlong. This side you have to show furlongs. Now, again, problem how to convert because we know like uh, one mile. one mile is equal to eight furlongs okay this please remember you have to learn this one mile is equal to eight furlongs it means to show your secondary division you have to make eight furlongs or what we can do is instead of making eight furlongs uh, we can make four furlongs so if you make four lines it means four ones are four four twos are eight it, in that case, one line will represent two furlongs. Okay, and now we have to make here four divisions. So again, problem because it is very, very difficult here. We don't know what is the line of exit. So we'll follow same formula. Here we have already made a line of 45 degree. So from here, again, make a line of 45 degree. Okay, and let's do the same. So we need four division and fourth division is already here. So we'll draw three lines. So now because the line is so small, so what you can do is you can uh, draw three marks at a difference of 5.5 centimeter. This is one, uh, two, and three. In this, the same way here also, one, two, and three. This time you can name them like uh, before I had given ABCD. So now you can name them X, Y, Z. Okay, let me use different colors so that will be easy for you also to understand. Okay, I'm using blue. So this is X, this name I am giving Y, and this is Z. Now here I'm writing X dash, Y dash, and Z dash. Okay, now same as we had done before, we'll join first line from the last line. Okay, that's done. So like this, we are getting equal divisions here also. Now, what should the next step? Obviously, please mind, I'm not joining exactly with this because it's not correct. Okay, I'll join with this. Please make sure you use scale properly so you'll get exact divisions. Now, these are our four longs. One division, two division, third division. Now, extend these lines. This, is, this represents two for long. This is four for long. This is six for long. And this is the eighth for long. So let's label these also. Uh, okay. So to label this again, I'm using, I'll use mixed color because it's otherwise it will be all mixed and will be difficult for you also to understand. So this line is representing two for longs, four for longs, six for longs, and it is eight for longs. Okay, as we had discussed before also in our previous video. Like since you will not get this much long place, your paper will be smaller because here I'm using, uh, it's not the accurate scale. So it's not compulsory to write all these. You can just write down two, six and eight, or you can write down after zero, you can write, write, write down four and eight. Okay, in between you can, no need to label all the lines. So this is the way by which when you, uh, by which we can make our uh, graphical scale when you're getting difficulty in uh, doing divisions. The last step is you need to fill a shade. Please make sure use pencil for shading also. Do one up, okay, like this. One upside, please do it properly. All shade all the boxes properly, okay. From uh, the, these are the secondary divisions I have done with. Now do primary also same. Do not use any color because we do not use colors while making this. Please make sure all the work must be done with only with pencil. Okay, so like this, do all the shading. Okay, hope it is clear to you all how to make this graphical scale when you are getting difficulty. Uh, when it when you are getting difficulty in uh, dividing it properly, you just need to make two angles of forty five degree using your protector. So please shade it properly and if you have any doubt, you can comment, okay? So thank you so much class, everybody. Bye-bye. Hope it is clear.
please uh, you can comment. I'm telling you again, you can comment if you have any doubt. So why everybody? <laughs>